Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has made fresh allegations about Iran's nuclear energy program, claiming that it is the biggest threat to global security. Israeli Prime Minister made the remarks during a press conference with German Chancellor Angela Merkel, who is on a two-day trip to Tel Aviv. He added that he wants to hold discussions with the German Chancellor on ways to prevent Iran from acquiring a nuclear weapon. Israel itself possesses at least 200 nuclear warheads. In contrast, Iran is a signatory to the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty and the International Atomic Energy Agency has conducted numerous inspections of its nuclear facilities but has never found any evidence of diversion. Joining us now to discuss this further is the editor of uh, the Culture Wars online magazine, Eugene Michael Jones from Indiana via Skype. Many thanks for joining us here on uh, Press TV. Now, over 200 nuclear warheads uh, in its possession, yet Israel uh, is making fresh allegations about Iran's nuclear energy program. What do you make of it? The, the Jews have a word for this. It's called chutzpah which means you make the most outrageous claim you can imagine, and then you hope that you just stun your opponent uh, by the boldness of your claim, and you stun your opponent into silence. This is what's going on here. It's a, it's a Jewish characteristic. Uh, Angela Merkel is going to Israel to discuss the uh, Palestinian settlement, these, uh, the settlement issue, and this is his way of diverting her attention, preempting this uh, meeting and trying to set an agenda that she in no way uh, is in, in favor of uh, following. The other part of it is the uh, Israel lobby has just uh, suffered a stunning defeat in the United States. Uh, the Menendez bill was supposed to put more economic sanctions on Iran. The last time IPAC pulled out all the stops, it got 100 votes in the Senate, which is all you can get. This time it didn't pass. So this, I think, is the context in which you have to understand uh, Netanyahu's claim. He's, lo he's losing the battle for the world's mind, and chutzpah is the only thing he can think of to regain it. Right, but uh, let's not forget that Germany is part of the P5 plus one group of countries that is negotiating with Iran right now on finding a comprehensive solution uh, and agreement with regards to its nuclear energy program. After this meeting, how much of a sway do you think Israel will have over the German side and stance in these talks? I think I think what you you what you have to realize is that the ger the mind of the German people is changing. I was in I was in Switzerland in September. I gave a, a series of talks in German. I, I speak fluent German. I lived in Germany for years. Uh, when you get together with Germans privately now, and uh, you're speaking German with them, they want to talk about the Jews. Now, this this didn't exist uh, 40 years ago when I was living in Germany. They would never think about this. And so everything that takes place now is taking place within this changing context and this understanding that Israel is now this pariah nation in the world. And no matter what they say in public, they have to take the politicians, the German politicians, have to take this seismic uh, change into, a, into account. And you think that uh, the uh, Western leaders, particularly the U.S., are going to take uh, their uh, public opinion uh, into account as opposed to the pressures by lobbyist groups and special interest groups? The, 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 I'm saying the lobby groups are losing. IPAC was all powerful years ago until uh, Walton Mearsheimer wrote the Israel lobby, and now they lost. They lost an incredible battle. It's unheard of that they would lose this battle. I mean, if there's ever Israeli-occupied territory, it's the American Congress, and they couldn't get enough votes to override Obama's veto on the Iran sanctions. So the world is changing. I think that's a simple fact, and Netanyahu is going to try and tough it out and pretend that the world is not changing. Okay, that was uh, the editor of Culture Wars Online magazine, Eugene Michael Jones, joining us from Indiana via Skype. Many thanks, Mr. Jones, for your comments here on Press TV, as always.